right, boys, today for math, we are going to be reviewing addition to 10, and we're going to talk specifically about different strategies that you can use. You're going to need your Unifix cubes, both colors, your whiteboard, um, your whiteboards and your whiteboard markers. So we know that addition is taking two sets and putting them together. So I had three strawberries. I got five more. How many strawberries did I have in all? So if we represent this with an addition number sentence, we could say three strawberries plus five strawberries, and we could count them all up. So we know one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight equals eight. So three plus five equals eight. Again, we're going to review some of the strategies that we've learned throughout the school year for addition. So we're gonna review how to use our fingers, using a picture, using counters or other manipulatives like our Unifix cubes, using a number line, and the strategy of counting on. So first, let's review using our fingers. So our number sentence is right down here, five plus two. Well, I could put up five fingers, five, and add two more. Now I have to count my total. Five, six, seven. So five plus two equals seven. You could also draw a picture to solve the same problem. Five plus two, they drew five jellyfish. Two more fish came along. How many fish were there in all? There were seven. And an important thing to remember if you're drawing pictures, see how these pictures were super, super detailed? If you're trying to solve a math problem quickly, you don't want to draw a super detailed picture. So here they, they chose circles and triangles. So four plus two, they put the four circles and then they added two triangles. How many shapes in all? One, two, three, four, five, six. So four plus two equals you got it, six. So four plus two equals six. All right, let's go to the next one. We can also use counters or Unifix cubes. Sometimes we can use different manipulatives around the house like Legos or um, if some people have those mini erasers. I know Mrs. Barden and Mrs. Jones have a bunch in their classroom or you can use those red and yellow counters. So let's try a couple using counters. Six plus three. Okay, so I'm starting with six. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose one color of my Unifix cubes and I'm gonna count out six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna break the rest off. So I have right here, one, two, three, four, five, six. And now I'm gonna add three more of another a separate color onto the top. So I'm gonna add one, one, two, and I need to add one more to get three. So now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So six plus three equals nine. Let's try another one. Okay, this time we're starting with five. So pick one color and count out five. One, two, three, four, five. How many more am I adding on? Two, one, and two. If you use two separate colors, it makes it really easy to see. So we know this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Five plus two equals seven. You can also use a number line to solve addition problems. Let's look here, two plus three. 
All right, so I'm starting at the number two. How many am I moving? Three. All right, so start at the number two. Whoops, I moved away. All right. Whoops, I lost my. All right, start at the number two and go one, two, three. Awesome, and we ended on five. So two plus three equals, you guessed it, equals five. I can add my five right in there. So two plus three equals five. All right, three plus three. Again, we're gonna find the number three, start there. How many more are we adding? Okay, we have to move forward three. One, two, three. Three plus three equals, what did we end on? Good job. Three plus three equals six. Nice work. Another way that we can add and a nice strategy to remember to use is to count on. There's no need for us to count every single object, especially because we've become such great counters throughout the school year. So if we have the problem seven plus two, seven plus two, I can start at the number seven. Okay, and let's think what comes next. I'm gonna add two more, seven, eight, nine. I added two more. Seven plus two equals nine, I counted on. Four plus three. Okay, I'm gonna count on, I'm gonna start with four. Okay, I have four in my head, and I'm gonna add three more. What comes after four? Five, six, seven. Good job. So four plus three equals seven. Another thing to remember about addition that we've talked about this year is it does not matter for addition what order the numbers come in. When we read this, we have two plus five equals. Okay, well, I could start at two if I'm using the counting on strategy and add five more. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so I got seven, but let's try another way. It can save us some time and be a lot quicker. What's the greater number, two or five? Good job, five's the greater number. So I could start with five, I could switch the order. I could start with five and add on two more. So let's try that. If we're using that counting on strategy, five, six, seven. We got the same answer. That helps to save us some time if we pick out the greater number and count on from there. All right, three plus six equals. Well, I know that six is my greater number. So I'm gonna start with six and count on three. Six, seven, eight, nine. Three plus six equals nine. All right, one plus seven equals. I know that seven is greater than one, so I'm gonna start with seven and I'm gonna add on one. Seven, what comes next? Adding one more, eight. So one plus seven equals eight. Now, we've talked a lot about story problems and putting um, our word problems into story problems. So we have a story problem here. Nick has five pennies. His dad gives him two more. How many pennies does he have? Okay, I'm gonna go and circle the important information. Nick has five pennies. Make sure that you can see that. Oops, 
All right, you should be able to see that now. Nick has five pennies. His dad gives him, you guessed it, he gives him two more. So I'm gonna circle that number two and that word more. How many pennies does he have? Okay, so Nick had five pennies. His dad gave him two more. How many pennies does he have now? So I'm gonna, I need to put those two together. So I'm gonna write my number sentence. Five, and I know that it's addition, five plus two, I'm gonna move this over to make sure that you can all see this. Five plus two equals, we have five plus two equals, well, I'm gonna start with five and add two more. Five, six, seven. I used my counting on strategy, seven pennies. So today you have a little bit of independent practice for addition problems in your Seesaw account. You can use any strategy that works for you for solving your addition problems. You, remember, all of the strategies Let's go back to the top. You can use your fingers, draw a picture, use counters or manipulatives, use a number line, or you can use the strategy counting on. Have fun and work hard.